Today we're going to be talking about multi-factor authentication and how it may not be as secure as you think it is. The attack we're going to be focusing on today is called a man in the middle attack and sometimes you'll hear it referred to as an evil proxy attack. Now the goal of a man in the middle attack is to identify a group of users and present those users with an experience that they're very familiar with in hopes that they enter in their credentials. Now you can see here that we have a Microsoft Office 365 sign-in page and it looks exactly like we would expect for an enterprise workforce user. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to enter in my credentials here. So I'll start off with my email just like normal. Then it's going to prompt me for my password. And now it's going to send a push notification to my phone. So go ahead and open up my phone screen here and you can see I've got this push notification. Um, Microsoft Authenticator even has this number matching system for anti-phishing purposes. So we'll enter that in here of 34 and we'll go ahead and hit yes. So after we've done that, it's going to ask me for my biometrics on my phone. So I'll put in my thumbprint. So we're extra sure that this is me. I'll go ahead and click no here and you'll see that we'll be redirected to Office 365. And this page looks exactly like it should. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to our hacker and see what our hacker sees. So you can see that we've captured that username and we've captured the password. But not only have we captured the username and password, we've also captured the authentication token. So if I go to my sessions here, you can see that I have captured an authentication token. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to uh, look at what that token says. So we'll go sessions 32. And here's the session that we have captured. So you can see everything from my IP address to where I actually landed uh, for the phishing page. And you can see that we've got this big long string of text here. This is the cookie that contains the authorization token that we want. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to copy that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a in private window of Firefox. And now all we need to do in order to get a legitimate session and steal this user's authentication is go to the login site for Office, which is this site right here. Then what we'll do is we'll use this cookie editor and we're going to go ahead and import a cookie. We'll paste that authorization token that we stole from the user and we'll import it. And now all I need to do as the hacker is to refresh this page. And you'll notice that I get logged in with a legitimate session. And seeing that this user is an admin, I can even access the admin portal for this user. And I can do anything that that user could do. So this Microsoft 365 account has officially been compromised. And now you have an attacker inside of your environment. With a lot of the most common multi-factor authentications that are uh, used within enterprise space and even personal space, this attack uh, can be very effective and can compromise your accounts. Now, just because this, atta this attack is, uh, is effective doesn't mean that there's no defensive resources against it. And in the next video, I will show what it looks like when we use a specific form of multi-factor authentication that is resistant to these types of attacks.